Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be redoing some resin coasters that didn't turn out. These are coasters that I made that just didn't turn out. I didn't like how they turned out. So what you're seeing is actually the bottom of the coaster. And I went ahead and dropped down one ounce of clear on each of these coasters. And I'm smoothing that out with my little spatula here. Today I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. I love it for projects like this because it's a thicker epoxy and it's really great for artwork. You'll get some awesome cells and lacing with it. So I smoothed out my clear. Now we're gonna drop down some alcohol inks. I'm gonna be using these new alcohol inks from Let's Resin. They come in a set with a bunch of different colors. There's a lot of really pretty colors in the set. I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. You can get it off Amazon. And you will have to do something to the back of your pieces um, when to protect the back when you do this. So you could either tape the back, add a layer of liquid latex and let that dry, or add a layer of Elmer's school glue or Elmer's glue all, let that dry, and then you can do your artwork. And after your artwork layer is dry, the glue or the liquid latex or the tape will peel right off the back along with any resin drips that are on the bottom of the coaster. You have to do something to protect the back because um, you don't want those resin drips to bond to your piece. And I have a tutorial on my channel showing step-by-step -step how I do um, the liquid latex and the school glue. My preference is to use Elmer's school glue. So I'll just pour a thick layer on the back, making sure the entire back is covered, let it dry, do my artwork, and then the next day the resin drips and the glue peel right off the back. So I'll link that tutorial down below if you want to go check it out. Here I'm going in with some blue interference mica powder from Let's Resin, just adding a few kind of swirly lines to each of the projects or each of the coasters. You can see this one on the bottom left, that blue alcohol ink really took over and it honestly ate up that blue interference. So make sure you don't add too much of the blue. Um, try to add a few drops of each of the colors so one color doesn't take over. And here I'm going to go in with some gold. This is from Color Passion. I will link it down below as well. It's a really pretty soft gold and I got some pretty lacing with it as well. Just adding a few swirly lines of that and then I'm going to hit it with my heat gun on high to kind of blend that gold around, move it around, and that'll help me get some really pretty cells and lacing. This is such an easy technique. It's a great way to kind of redo the coasters that you make that you're just not happy with. Um, and also, if you haven't seen my last video, I did some all glitter resin coasters. Those would be a great base um, for a project like this as well. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Definitely go check it out. You can use any type of glittery base for these coasters or it doesn't have to be a glittery base um, if you don't want it to as well. You could do this on any type of coaster that you have that you're just not happy with. It's a great way to kind of revamp them and give them a new look. So now I'm just gonna go in with my heat gun and blend that gold around. I was just trying to break it up and push it over my other colors. So those uh, basically particles of the gold will flow up and give you some really pretty floating gold cells and lacing. And I am using my heat gun on high. Um, I picked up this heat gun like three years ago on Amazon and it's worked really well for me. I'll link it down below. I think it was like $20, so not too bad. If you guys don't have a heat gun, definitely check it out. And here I also wanted to show you, uh, I wasn't crazy about this one on the top right. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my stir stick and I'm actually scooping up the runoff from my table and I'm just gonna apply it right back on top of the coaster. You can do that too. You can also save the runoff. Um, I'm working over wax paper, so any of the runoff will peel right off the next day. You could save this and cut it up into little pieces and put it inside of a mold. You know, pour a little bit of clear in the bottom of your mold, drop down these resin drips, and then pour more clear and make coasters out of these resin drips as well. And here I just wanted to add a few swirls to this top right coaster. This one was, I just wasn't happy with. So I wanted to add a few swirly designs just to kind of see how it would turn out. I let them dry for 24 hours, 
peeled the glue and the resin drips off the back of each of the coasters and here's how they turned out this one's my favorite of them all you can see I got some really pretty lacing I just love these colors together and you have a slight sparkle under there from that glittery base that we did the artwork layer on top of it's a great way to redo those coasters that you're not happy with I hope you guys give this a try let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. This one here is the one I did the little swirly designs with. It worked out pretty good. All the swirly lines that I added stayed put nicely. So I love using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy for projects like this because when you do designs and patterns in it, it really stays put because it's a thicker resin. It doesn't move around a lot when it's drying, so the designs that you add tend to stay put really nicely in it. I really love how this one turned out too. I just love how sparkly that base is, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and definitely go check out a few of my, a few of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. Helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fabulous and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.